Okay, so this is a, an example of a work energy balance. Um, car starts at A, constant thrust is applied as it goes up the hill between A and B. Thrust stops and then it coasts up the hill until it comes to a stop at S, distance S up the slope from B. You've got to find S. And you're going to need to know the, the vertical um, height. Uh, in order to find out the uh, kinetic energy exchanged. Okay, so we've got this equation T, T well, put it in terms of letters, T A, kinetic energy at the beginning is equal to the work done between A and C. is equal to kinetic energy at C. Now, interestingly, kinetic energy at A is zero because it starts from rest. C with zero, it starts and rest. So you left up with a total work done is equal to zero. And actually, it's um, an exchange. Work starts off. Um, you've got two components of work. You've got the thrust, which is between A and B. Um, so that should say. A to B and you've got the gravity between A and C because it's all the time changing height between A and C. This point is C. So looking at the force diagram we can see that the only force is um, at the beginning, acting perpendicular to the motion is the thrust, but of course, as it goes up the hill, uh, uh, as it starts to go up the hill, you're going to have the mass, um, you're still going to have the thrust going tangential, but you're going to have a component of the mass also in the tangential direction. So we're going to have to take into account the mass. And a far easier way to do that than to consider the changing angle as it goes up the slope is to consider the overall energy balance. So, the work done due to the thrust is the thrust force, F, times the distance AB, which we have to calculate. And then it's an exchange of the work done due to gravity, which is the force is against gravity, or the motion is against gravity, so it's negative mass times gravity times the, the vertical height displaced. Okay, so to compute the the arc length AB, it's R ohm, it's R theta. So we know theta is 30, we're looking to find um, AB and we know that R is 120. We have to convert to radians and we can get the expression just to be just under 63 meters. Now to find the height, H, we need to add two components. So the first component is S sine of 30, which gives us this bit. But we also need to add this bit, so that the height it goes from A to B. So this bit is 120 minus 120 cos of 30. So this bit, so it's 120 minus this bit. So we have S sine 30 plus 120 minus 120 cos 30. And this is an expression for the height of H. And then finally, equating both work done, so the work done due to the, the thrust and the work done which is negative due to the gravity, equating them both to equal, because as we found out from the beginning, the total work done is zero, then it can be rearranged to find um, S as the subject, although the other values are known, and, the, and then we can compute S to be 160 meters.